Think there's anything to the divorce angle? Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out and I went out after her and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car. It was a brown Ford coupe. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice size. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolito, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had to sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Straight through the red light that you never saw. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? What's your read on Maldonado? I still like him for it. Seriously, that line about the guy at the fruit market making eyes at his woman? Please. Yeah, we'll get to the market and the guy behind the counter will tell us he saw Angel drag his old lady off in it at night. This case will be shut like all the others.
handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night, 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh... Look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Well, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Why cut someone who was already dead? It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it during the war. Are you working Friday night? We could go out afterwards. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! God damn it, get after him, Cole! I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own marker. 
Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Now who's about to get picked? Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires! You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fee and the personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. gentlemen and what a grand morning it is too we have just cause for celebration Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin a nice showy trial and he'll be struck down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain now the fresh business Galloway and Phelps the task is at hand the address is on the hill north downtown off Fremont Avenue Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Wait, think of a letter from a big one. Yeah, I'm thinking of making He's up the a looking for I want to stop him with one round. If you were quite Greetings from sunny California. Stop. Fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love a fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. Detectives? Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the Examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. 
Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Find anything interesting? No drag marks. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Not now, Phelps. You're clear to work, detective. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt. Horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks, ma'am. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written on them. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand?
rain stopped. Changed back into those white bucks. Please. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case.